Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. A little review today about 12-bit hamming codes, error correcting codes, uh, uh, made by this man right here, uh, Richard Wesley Hamming, uh, uh, photograph his wife sent me, uh, AT&T Labs and um, uh, Los Alamos uh, Manhattan Project fame, uh, developed the error correcting codes to make computers more reliable. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you the 12-bit version of the hamming codes. Uh, they can be in any size. Um, uh, the reason we do 12 bits is because in the 12 bit Hamming code, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put the sheet right there so you can see it, um, it allows you to send an 8 bit byte, and then three of the bits are actually, or four of the bits, excuse me, are actually used for check bits or parity bits. So I'll show you how it goes. Now let's say that we want to send a byte of data, right? And what we want to send is we want to send a, a one, okay? And we want to send a zero, a one, a zero, uh, a zero, and then followed by three ones. So we want to send a one, zero, one, zero, and then zero, one, one, one. That's what we want to send, okay? So how do we encode that in Hamming codes? Well, I put this little, little uh, check sheet here for you so you could use it. So we say the, uh, the, the bit positions are labeled 1 through 12, left from right, and it can be done right to left or left to right, either way. Uh, I'm doing it this way because that's how my uh, lectures are uh, presented. Uh, so the 3-bit is turned on, the 6-bit is turned on, the 10 bit is turned on, the 11 and the 12. And then what we do is we go over here and we put the 4 bit uh, version for that number. For instance, uh, 3, the 4 bit version of that is 0, 0, 1, 1. Uh, 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. Uh, 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0. I remember that one, 1, 10, 10. 10. 11 is one more. And then 12 is 1100. Zero, zero. Okay. Now, then, what we do is we want to generate the code word or the parity bits that go up here. Um, that is done by using what's called modulo to arithmetic, or sometimes called that. But essentially, what you do is you look at the bits right here. And if it's an even number of bits in a column, you put a zero. If it's an odd number of bits, okay. You put a one, so the only odd number of column bits is the leftmost column, and that is the parity bits that we're going to put in here. The whole thing is called a, a code word, by the way. All right, then we put these back in their relative positions. So bit eight gets a one, bit four gets a zero, bit two gets a zero, and bit one gets a zero, and that is what's transmitted. Now the check on the other end, what they do is they essentially uh, uh, bring this whole uh, bit positions. They go through and they say, okay, let's look at everything. So they look at all the code words. They pull the code word down. And uh, they uh, look at the uh, bits as if they're turned on. And uh, then they uh, check to see if it's all zeros. And they use the same technique, you know, even number of bits. This is zero. That is zero. This is zero, zero. And if it comes back all zeros, it's a valid code word. Now then, let's change a bit. Okay, let's say that an error occurred. Let me straighten this up a little bit. Let's say an error occurred, and let's say the 10 bit gets changed to a zero. All right, well then let's check it. Let's check it over here to the side. So we go through this, so we see the 3 bit is turned on. The 6-bit is turned on, the 8-bit is turned on, the 11-bit is turned on, and the 12-bit is 
turned on. And we do our modulo to arithmetic. There's 0, there's a 1, that's a 0, and that's 1. And if we look at this, we say, ah, that is the binary number for 10. And what we can do is we can go up here and say, ah, that bit was wrong. We could change that bit. And rather than causing an error, we can continue processing. And that's how the 12-bit uh, error correcting code, Hamming code, works. Let's do one more, just to for a little bit of practice. Uh, I'll put this sheet out for my, my students. And we will send the code word, we will send the, the bit 1110, and then followed by all zeros. And we go down here, and we say, okay, the bit 3 is turned on, the 5, and the 6, and nothing else. So, that is 3 in binary for 4 bits. This is 5, and this is 6. It's a good idea to memorize these. And the um, parity bits for the code word is going to be 0, and that will be 0. 0 and all zeros. Ah, well, it's okay. Well, this is the, uh, I'll put them down here. The 8 bit goes right there. It's reverse from what it says on here. The 4 bit goes there. The 2 bit goes here. And the 1 bit goes there. And that's our code word right there. We're going to look at it. It all checks. That's fine. That's our check. Now then let's go through and let's change the one bit. Let's change not we're not going to change up here like we did. We're going to change a data bit. Let's change a parity bit. Let's make sure that works. So we're going to take this and we're going to say, oh, we're going to change that to a one. You got static electricity caused it to uh, to change. Alright. So now let's uh, let's check that. Alright, well the one bit is turned on. The three bit is turned on. The five bit is turned on and the 6 bit is turned on. We do our uh, addition without a carry. It's also called that, addition without a carry. This is a 1, that's a 0, and that's a 0, that's a 0, and we say aha, the 1 bit needs to be reversed. So that is the uh, 12 bit uh, uh, Hamming code. Uh, like I said, uh, the numbering of the bits from left to right or right to left, can, uh, I've done it both ways. I think uh, most people prefer this method right here. And uh, practice that a few times. Uh, for my students, I put this worksheet out there for them, which you can generate it yourself. Uh, very, very, uh, very, very clever way of uh, detecting errors and correcting. Hamming codes can uh, detect and correct 1-bit errors, it can detect 2-bit errors, but it can't correct them. There are other techniques for that. Hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to doing another one. <laughs>